sikado so fo aban e de betoto ahyen e de akọ aban enwuma ko ma ko ma ko enan emu e wo memu no e de dey ma se bidafo ke ka wo hu amasa sika no wo no ajiatun speaker the request are to seek approval for the waiver of taxes amounting to 25.1 million Ghana cities on vehicles to be procured by the Intercity STC Company Limited. 841,645 Ghana cities, 20 per on ammunition donated to the Ghana Immigration Service. 708,652 Ghana cities and 92 Ghana pesos on vehicles to be procured by the Ministry of Regional Reorganization and Development and 14.7 million Ghana cities on vehicles to be procured for the Metro Mass Transit Limited. It's in the right direction for Parliament to approve the request for a tax waiver for Ghana Immigration Services and also for the Ministry of Regional Reorganization and Development. Mr. Speaker, but I strongly also believe that there's the need for us to evaluate the request for a tax waiver for the likes of the Metro Mass Trans Transit Limited and the Intercity STC Company Limited. Mr. Speaker, this is for a fact that over the years, we have been, as a house, allocating loan agreements to these companies for the purposes of providing public transportation. So we have of the view that for us to approve such tax waivers of such magnitude, there is the need for us to link this to productivity over the years. We need to get accountability from these two institutions for us to be sure that the money that we are appropriating to these institutions, they are living up to expectation. Mr. Speaker, the ownership structure of Metro Mass Transit is also making it difficult for government to make direct investment to improve the company. Government of Ghana hold 45% of Metro Mass Transit, while state-owned enterprises or institutions and other private institutions hold the remaining 55%. I would suggest that government of Ghana should take the full ownership of Metro Mass Transit. Speaker, I can I can bet that I can sense abuse in the way these tax waivers are being churned out. So, Speaker, for a very long period of time, I have raised concern about the nature and manner that we give these waivers. And, Speaker, when you take Metro Mass Transport, government owns 45%, and other government organizations and individuals own them 55%. Mr. Speaker, my view is that if they need a waiver, let's use this amount of over 20 million to rather increase government shares and ownership in the company. The House needs to take a position on the uh, grant of tax waivers because, as I've said, we should examine the impact of the tax waivers on the economy generally and, in particular, relating to the efficiency of the operations of these enterprises.